Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire. This is Clarity Flying Company. And if you're new here, we talk all about how to use organization and planning to move your life into authentic alignment with your soul's purpose and bring your dreams into your reality. So this is part five of six of our Overcome the Overwhelm series. I will link the first video up above if you have missed it. I will also link all of the videos so far in the series down below in the description. If you have seen some of them and just need to catch up on the last one or the last couple or so forth. So today I want to talk a little bit about tracking your progress tracking your wins and how do you keep track of what you have accomplished so far versus what you still have left to do when it feels like the list that you have left to do is humongous, never ending and so forth. So it is super important to take the time to reflect on what you've accomplished so far, how far you've come, whether you do that daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, even yearly, it is so important to acknowledge how far you've come, acknowledge the progress you've made, and take the time to really track your progress. Because I feel like so often we accomplish so much, we do so many things, but because there's always this elusive, never-ending endpoint that just moves as we check things off the list, new things are added, it's really nice to be able to look back and actually recognize how much progress you've made, how far you have come, all of the things that you've accomplished. And the best way to do that is really to track your progress throughout your journey from the beginning. Or starting now, if you haven't started yet, is totally fine. But I find that having your list set out in front of you of what you're wanting to accomplish and then being able to check things off really allows you to see the progress you're making Whereas if you wait until you get to the end of your project or the end of your journey, sometimes we can forget all of the little things that we did that added up to get us to where we are, or things shift and you never really reach the end of your project, so to speak, because you're just moving on to the next phase. We forget about all the phases that came prior that we have accomplished. So what I like to do is just track my progress as I go. And there's a few ways I do this, and I do mix and match depending on kind of what I'm trying to accomplish, what I'm tracking, what my focus is on. So the first thing that I do like to use is just your typical to-do list. I use a to-do list either for a single day or for like a weekend period. So if it's Saturday, Sunday, I will tend to merge them to give myself more flexibility for when I get things done. But a to-do list I really like to use if it's just, I have a lot of things I'm wanting to accomplish in a day, whether they're the big tasks or small tasks, but there's a lot of things and writing them down allows me to take away the mental checklist that I'm trying to keep track of and make sure I don't miss anything. Um, and it's also really satisfying to check off each thing as I get it done. And I do put the really tiny things on there because I like to check them off. If I do something extra, I'll maybe add it after and check it off right away, um, just because I feel like it makes me feel good. So that's the first thing there's a to-do list. There is also something that you could do that's more of a task list. And that is something where I'll take all of the things that I have on my list that I'm wanting to accomplish that are maybe a little bit bigger than I would typically have on my to-do list. And I would have a due date associated to each one. And I would have a general timeline what I'm wanting to accomplish it by, and I can check those off if I hit them, or if I'm approaching my due date and it's not done, it gives me a little bit of incentive to make sure that I stay on track. So there's the do list, the task list, and then I also have, sometimes what I'll do is more of a habit tracker list. So if I have, say right now, like I'm doing a course for school, I'm doing two courses for school right now. So on my like habit tracker list, I'll do it week by week. And then what I'll do is I'll write, you know, say my accounting course and my entrepreneurship course. And then I will be able to circle in and color each day that I work on that because it's something I'm wanting to do consistently in smaller chunks rather than save it up and have a whole bunch to do all at once. So 
that's something I would have on my list like that. I would also have maybe any cleaning tasks that I wanted to do either daily or weekly and color in the day of the week I did it and see when it was last done or try to see how frequently I'm doing it. I would also use it for something like a new habit that I'm trying to build. So for me, that would be right now my yoga and my meditation practice. Each of those I would have on my week by week list. And then I would be able to circle in and color how frequently I'm doing it. And for me, I would use it for habits I'm trying to build because the habits I already have in place, I'm pretty happy with um, doing them consistently, such as my journaling or things like that. I'm already doing that daily. I don't need to check it off each day, but I like to use a habit tracker for the new habits I'm trying to integrate into my daily rituals or regular rituals because it's really hard to do things perfectly and get them done every single day, especially when you're building a new habit. So I think of myself a little bit of grace and it will just be a matter of maybe week one, I did it once, maybe week, week two, I did it twice and so forth. And I'm building up the frequency with which I am bringing it into my life. And I am going for progress over perfection. So week over week, I'm hoping to have an improvement, but it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect in order for me to be improving and, and working on those goals. Another thing that you can use to track your progress is more of like a visual progress tracker. And you'll see online, you'll see a lot of them when it comes to um, financial trackers. So you would essentially have a, a picture or a graph or something, and you would have your goal. So maybe your goal is to pay off your credit card that it's $500. You would put your goal of paying the $500 off. And then you would typically have either an image or a box that you would attribute a value to. So say if there's 50 boxes and you're wanting to pay off $500 for each box to be able to check it off or color it in. You would have to pay off $10 for each one to color it in. And then as you're progressing through paying it off, you're getting this nice visual of your journey so far, how far you've already made it and come, how far you have left to go. And it is really satisfying when you get to the point where you're able to color in the full picture. It's a little bit of incentive because you want to be able to color the next piece. Um, and it's also really nice if you're visually inclined like I am because you can like put it up on your wall and then it will remind you that you're working on your task. So I do have some progress trackers that are part of the Overcome the Overwhelm bundle. Um, the ones that I did are essentially leaf designs, similar function. And for me, I am actually using those for myself as habit trackers as well. And I'm attributing a reward to accomplishing my habits. So say, with my yoga, I'm wanting to do it as frequently as I can, and I'm tracking it weekly to get like my idea of how often I'm doing it. And then I have an overarching goal where I have to tell it in like all of the leaves on a sheet. And I think I have like 45 leaves thereabouts to color in. And when I've done it that many times, whether it takes me two months, three months, four months, I'm celebrating my success of doing it the amount of times to accomplish the reward, even if I might not be perfectly doing it every day. Eventually, there is a reward, there is an incentive, and there is that visual reminder because it's up on my wall that that is something that I personally am wanting to focus my efforts and energy on. So those are progress trackers that I like to use and just task trackers in general to keep track of what I'm doing, organize my thoughts so I'm not having to remember everything and keep it all in my mind. I can release that, use my mental capacity elsewhere, um, and really just track my progress, track my journey. And next week, we'll be actually be talking about celebrating your wins and you know how can you reward yourself? How can you give yourself that recognition? But this week, it really is about starting to build up those habits of tracking what you're doing, tracking your progress, tracking your journey, and really being able to start to get those data points of what you have accomplished and how amazing you are doing in your life, even though it may feel like you're treading water or you're staying in place. I can promise you that if you are working on this regularly, working on your dreams, taking action regularly, there's absolutely no way that you can do that 
and stay in one place and not move forward. And even if you're not really taking action, your life is still moving day after day and, you know, month after month, year after year. And your life is going to change regardless of whether or not you're taking the actions. It's just you would be less in control of the direction you're going and the changes that are happening. So I do strongly urge you, make a list, pick a format that you think works for you. Pick a few if you want to play and do it from a place of play, a place of, you know, experimentation, seeing what works for you, trial and error. And then once you play around with a few different formats of tracking your progress and what you've accomplished, then you can choose what works for you. And if you're wanting to do what I do, where you use a mix and match of kind of all of the different types of tracking, how you want to use each one and how will they play off of each other in a way that makes sense for you in your life. And I hope this was really helpful for you. Please do share below which type of tracker you think you would be most suited to, which one would you enjoy using the most. If you're using any now, which ones are you currently using? Were there any new ones that you haven't really played around with before that you think you might need to I'd love to just get a conversation going in the comments and see what everybody is doing. As always, if you could give this video a like, if you did enjoy it, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more and follow this series. And as always, I am wishing you a beautiful week ahead.